Hello students, this is a second lecture on the topic sequence and series. In this topic, I'll be teaching you what are the subsequences and what are the increasing, decreasing and bounded sequences. So let's start. Now what does this word subsequence mean? If the terms of a sequence appear in another sequence in their given order, we call first sequence a subsequence of the second. Now I'll make this definition more clear by an example. Consider a sequence a n that is equal to n. So this means that we have the sequence like 1, 2, 3 and so on. So now if I consider a sequence that is 2 n this will be equal to 2 4 6 and so on that is the sequence of even numbers and also consider a sequence 2 n minus 1 that will be equal to 1, 3, 5 and so on that will be the sequence of odd numbers. So now clearly this sequence that is 2n and 2n minus 1 lies in the sequence this. The first sequence which I wrote as a n that is 1, 2, 3 till infinity. So we can say that 2n and 2n minus 1 are the subsequence of the sequence n. I hope this definition of subsequence is clear. So I'll move further. Now I'll discuss few properties of subsequence. So the first property is if the sequence converges to a limit L, then all of its subsequence will also converge to the value L. Like for example, if I take a sequence 1 by n, I can easily see that this sequence will converge to a limit 0. And if I take two subsequences, these two will also converge to zero. So this is the first property that if this sequence converges to a limit L, then all of its subsequence will also converge to the value L. Now the second property is if any subsequence of a sequence diverges or any two subsequences of a sequence converge to two different limit then the sequence is divergent. Let us check this by an example. So consider a sequence which is given by uh, the nth term is given by this minus 1 to the power n plus 1. So this I can write it as and so on. So now if I write two subsequences that is 1, 1, 1 and so on and cn is minus 1, 1, minus 1 minus 1 and so on. Clearly this bn and cn are the subsequences of an. Now you can easily see that bn converges to 1 and cn 
converges to minus 1. So now the both subsequences since both subsequences converges to different values this implies that the sequence an is divergent we saw this by this property that if the subsequence converges to two different limit then the sequence is divergent hope this is clear let us look few more definitions so the first is for the non decreasing sequence we call the sequence non decreasing if an is less than or equal to an plus 1 for every a for example if you have a sequence this one is non decreasing as you can see that the first element is less than the second and less element uh, second element is less than the third and so on so uh, you can easily check that an plus 1 is greater than an for every n so this one is non decreasing now why do we call it as non decreasing so that we can include the constant sequence also under this so if i take this constant sequence This is neither increasing nor decreasing, but this one is non decreasing sequence which contains this equality. So, I hope this is clear. Uh, what does this uh, non decreasing sequence mean? Now, we say that the sequence an is bounded from above if there exists a number m such that a n is less than or equal to m for every n the number this m number is called as the upper bound of the sequence and if this number m is the least number that is if there does not exist any number that is less than m for which it is the upper bound of a n then m is called as the least upper bound of a n like for example if you have a sequence and if i graph this and i have my number m so you can see that all of my a n's are below this number m so i can write this but you can have many upper bound these upper bound is not unique S suppose that if i take some m1 which is above this again this inequality will hold that an is less than m1 so this upper bound is not unique but this least upper bound is unique since we cannot find any number which is less than m like suppose you take it m2 you cannot find this m2 such that you can write a n is less than m2 this will not happen so m is the minimum number for which a n is less than or equal to this number m so m is called as a least upper bound now if the sequence is bounded from both sides that is if it is bounded from below and it is bounded from above then we call the sequence as bounded sequence so we will make this more clear by an example let us look on the example so let us write down A sequence which is equal to n now I'll write this sequence
now you can easily write its numeric value and check that a n is less than or equal to a n plus 1 for every n this holds true see this is 0 0.5 so this is lesser than this again this one is less than this and so on so this function is non decreasing function or increasing function uh, sorry sequence so this is So this is non-decreasing sequence. Now, what about the bound? I can write this sequence as this implies that a n will be less than one for every n. See, you have this sequence. I have taken uh, this. I have written a n in form of this. And with this, you can see that a n for every n will be lesser than this value. You can find this with the help of the uh, definition of limit also. You know that if n tends to infinity and uh, we get limit as some finite value 1 this means what that see that this sequence is increasing and if we see that if we tend n to infinity it is converging to one a point that is 1 so 1 will be its least upper bound also because if we choose any number which is less than 1 suppose that we choose a number say suppose we choose a number 0 0.99 and so on which is less than 1 so we cannot write this that a n is less than 0 point for every n we cannot write this so but we can write this a n is less than or equal to 1 for every n so uh, we find the least upper bound there can be many upper bounds like 2 is also a upper bound 3 is also upper bound like every a n will be less than 2 also 3 also 4 also but 1 is the least upper bound if we reduce a little bit then this one we cannot write it in this form like a n is not less than 0 0.99 for every n there will exist some n which will be uh, for which a n will be greater than this 0 0.999 i hope this is clear the uh, concept of the least upper bound and the increasing sequences now we will study an important theorem that is called as a non decreasing the non decreasing sequence theorem it states that a non decreasing sequence of a real number converges if it is bounded from above and it converges to its least upper bound this means that if you have a non decreasing sequence that is increasing Suppose that you have a increasing sequence, like for n is equal to 1, 2, 3, you have an increasing sequence. It converges if and only if it is bounded from above. 
that means that you can find a bound m such that all a n are less than this number m and it converges to its least upper bound that is this m because you already know that there can be many bounds like if, if i go above this m1 again i have my ans less than this m1 but if i can find the least number such that an is less than m then it is called as least upper bound so our sequence will converge to this least upper bound and you can easily find it by the help of the finding out the limits so we will make this theorem more clear with the help of an example uh, so write down an example test the test the convergence or divergence of the sequence a n is equal to 5 n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 n is equal to 1 2 and so on by using non decreasing sequence theorem so let's check this so first of all we will check that whether this series or uh, sorry sequence is non decreasing or not so to check sequence is non decreasing or not so i'll take a n and i'll write a n plus 1 that is you can easily find out the difference between these two which is this so this implies that a n plus 1 minus a n is greater than 0 for every n greater than or equal to 1 so this implies that a n plus 1 is greater than a n for every n so this proves that the sequence is non decreasing i hope this is clear since i took the difference and it came out to be greater than 0 so obviously a n plus 1 is greater than a n which says that the sequence is non decreasing now we are left showing that the sequence is bounded from above so let's show this that the sequence is bounded for this we will find the limit let me change the color we will show n tending to infinity this limit n tending to infinity a of n which is equal to the limit n tending to infinity 5 n plus 1 n plus 1 is equal to you can write this sequence as is equal to 5 which is the least upper bound this is the least upper bound 
or firstly see that this implies that this for every n because you have already seen that it is increasing and the limit is coming to be 5 this means that the sequence will converge to this limit 5 which is the least upper bound or you can also show in this way like 5 n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 can be written as this now you can easily see that this is the maximum value for this will be 5 this implies that a n will be less than for every n so if you have seen in the theorem that if a non decreasing sequence is bounded from above then it is convergent so i will write that a n is bounded from above by 5 and so by the non decreasing theorem the sequence a n is convergent and it converges to the lower upper bound 5 a n is convergent and it converges to its lower upper bound 5 by non decreasing sequence theorem i hope this example is clear now we will take another example suppose that you have a an which is equal to 3 n plus 1 now again you have to see that whether it is non decreasing or not if you are asked that use a non decreasing theorem to prove that the uh, sequence is convergent so you will show that this one is first you will show that this one is non decreasing now i am going to show you some another way how you can prove uh, the um, that the sequence is non decreasing uh, if i write this sequence as a function and you already know that the if the derivative is greater than 0 for every x then we can say that the function is an increasing function so let us find out f dash x and it it will come to be like this so which you can see easily that this is greater than 0 for every x greater than or equal to 1 so fx is increasing function hence an is increasing or non decreasing sequence now we are left with finding whether the sequence is bounded from above or not so the second step is to check sequence is bounded from above or not so for this i'll write the limit of a n sorry n tending to infinity 
a n which is equal to limit n tending to infinity 3 n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 which is equal to 3 this implies that a n is less than 3 for every n or you can also find the bound by writing this a n -th term as This also implies that a n is less than 3 for every n. So, by this we can easily say that the sequence a n is bounded from above and this one will be its least upper bound. I have already told you that if the sequence is increasing and it's it is that its limit is coming to be 3 that means that it is its least upper bound. So we can say by the non decreasing sequence theorem that a n is Therefore, a n is convergent and it converges to 5, which is sorry, 3, which is its least upper bound. I hope uh, this lecture is clear to you all so thank you so much